The former All Progressive Congress APC presidential aspirant, Adamu Garaba, has accused the Prime Minister, Simon Ekpa, of orchestrating the protests against President Bola Tinubu's administration. Garaba believed that Nigerians' enemy and the Biafra agitator hired influencers to create chaos and destroy the country. According to the former APC chieftain, some politicians are using the current hardship to seek revenge against the government for their loss. Taking to his air speech, Karaba wrote, the real sponsors of these riot not genuine protesters are sworn Nigerian enemies, someone like Simon Ekba, who is taking sanctuary in a foreign land, yet ordering and commanding the destruction of his fatherland. There is no greater legitimacy in birth and in root than this. When I told you the North was deceived, I know what I am saying. These guys contracted some Northern influencers to assist them to exploiting the current economic hardship against the Tinubu administration. Coupled with the fact that some angry and envious politicians see this as an opportunity to assert revenge upon the government for their loss. Nigeria needs to review our relationship with Finland if they refuse to package and send this bad guy to the Nigerian authorities for questioning. <laughs> Imagine. Is, is there protest in the, in the Southeast? I mean, don't forget to say, now, not now then they carry a Russian flag. They go to burn politicians' houses. So how that one take? How they take come together? Currently in the southeast, there is no protest. These hunger protests, nobody is protesting in the in the southeast. So waiting on consign uh, Simon Ekpa inside, or it's just that Simon Ekpa name. Or South Easterners must be mentioned. Is that the reason why he's calling, you know, Simon Ekpa? These people have refused to understand. They have refused to come to reality. This is not being sponsored by anybody. The condition in Nigeria is very hard. It's very difficult. People barely eat three square meals in a day. So if those politicians who lose for the protest now uh, using this as a means how they won't take enter the power so you see this apc refused to come to reality they don't accuse peter B of sponsoring the protest now they don't accuse uh simon Ekba. they don't accuse ipop you understand maybe very soon then go still accuse uh, Mazinam the colonel in the DSS custody. Nigerians. I don't think this will help anybody. The government understand where the problem is. And if they want to address this issue, they should know how to go about it. You understand? They should know how to go about it. This man is really speaking very loud. And I am very surprised that since all this why, he has not been talking. I remember during the campaign, he told us that President Bola Metinubu, or head guru, even said uh, Peter Ubi can never, Igbos can never rule Nigeria. Now the person who I don't choose, don't they rule, everybody they shout, look at the protests going on in Nigeria. Is it actually strong in the south than the way it is strong in the in the in the north? Now northerners are angry because they are no longer in power. You get they don't they see bad governance, but President Muhammad Buhari was there. They not see bad governance. Now now they don't they know bad governance. Instead of you to say the truth, you keep on cornering it. You don't shift the matter come up from north. That is what he just did right now. These people think that they are smart. In the north, when they are carrying a Russian flag, they are destroying, uh, looting. 
where in the south now don't hear say then they loot since these protests commence. So you people should be asking yourself these questions. You get trying to you know leave the written they accuse another person. I don't think it's right. It's not right at all. These people have to face the reality. Nigerians are hungry. And you don't part someone who is angry, hungry at the back because then the toxic, angry person, hungry person is an angry person. And that is what is happening. President Bola Metinubu should stop. Should stop ignoring the demand of the protesters. He should look into it. You understand? You said removing fuel subsidy, Nigerians will benefit. Is for the good of the people you are leading. And inside the matter, you can see and say, this thing is not, you know, helping the Nigerians. So why can't you do something about it? Why? Why can't you do something about it? Why did you just stand, stand there and say, no, you cannot remove it? For which, for, for, for whose person's benefit? Well, mega drop on for you, Nigerians, and I don't hear them. Uh, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. I beg, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video, let it go viral. Thank you, and bye.